says waiting. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Can you hear I'm, me? I can hear you perfectly. I'm sorry if oh, you can't great, hear me that well. But the oh, yeah, te technical difficulties are also my not my strong point at the moment. So. I I actually I feel like we can be really good at this because people that are ten years younger than us and like yes. around us, but. And I feel like an expert compared to my mom, but I couldn't figure this out to save my life. <laughs> so, but it's nice to like talk to you. Me to too. You I know it's I'm such really a pleasure to meet to you, you guys. Oh, so, say, sorry, say that again. Oh no, I was just gonna say, um, like I'm so excited to talk to you about your cookie show. I know yours too. I, I I was just listening to you and Carly talking. Everything you're saying. I, by the way, I'm such a big fan of yours. Everything you do, everything how honest you are, Thank you. everything you've been through. You're such a strong, strong woman, man. And your voice is just, I mean, beyond incredible. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm really excited to see your show. It's I like we talked before, and it's nice to be able to like talk to you again. And um, you, I have I've heard that your show is about joke. yeah well there's a it's it's slightly annoying because again like you said i haven't been able to film my show yet either which is so annoying right. so i'm so excited to do it um but you know this time is a good time to kind of think you know to have more ideas about it and make it better i suppose but i'm really excited uh there's there's a couple of things i can't talk about it because it's, it's got a surprise element to it but you know okay. and a lot of it is about more like you know female empowerment practical joking oh, and kind of that's yeah awesome. yeah that's awesome is it yeah. like so what is it called do you have a title yet so the title i basically i didn't want to come up with a title until i start doing it because i want kind of every episode to be different i'm getting a lot of my friends to help me with it um you know because i want it to be funny and fun but also to like talk about you know real things and you know deeper subjects and you know just being what it talking about the divine feminine what it's like to be a woman and having fun oh my gosh i love that i actually um almost i, I went to i got a tattoo in december and when i told the tattoo artist what i wanted i was like i want something that represents the divine and feminine because yes to represent all the women in my life but i mean and you've got you important. you've got a line is right that's a divine yes, feminine I do. as well <laughs> i do i'm a leo i know you are me too. Yeah. I can tell. I can tell. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But um, so, have, what's like? Have you ever pulled a prank on the runway or on set? On the runway? Not really the place you want to pull a prank. I think. Right. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, have I wanted to? Yes. I mean, uh, at the Chanel show, I brought my dog and he peed on the runway. That was that was pretty funny. I did not oh mean for that to happen though. Um, <laughs> but no, I I, gen I generally like to prank people. But I prank people who I love. You know, it's it's. It's just always a funny thing to like take people by surprise, you know, totally. so much of the time we're kind of like running about our days stressed out and just when you get to laugh, laugh is the best humor in the world, it really is. So it's kind of just having fun with that, I guess. Totally. Who are, uh, who are some of your, the women that you look up to that really inspire you? Oh, women in the world. I mean, to be honest, any woman that I've met in my life has inspired me. Women, I just think, are generally inspiring. There are so many, many, many women, you know. Um, people that I look up to the most, oh, it's so hard, it's so hard. I mean, all the women in my family, all my best friends, you know, so every, anywhere, I mean, anyone in this industry, but also, you know, women out there who are, you know, single mothers, just women are incredible creatures, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's hard That's to pick awesome. one, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to pick one though. Yeah. My mom is definitely fine. She is, she is the most cheerful person I thank you so much that I can yeah. look to her as a light and an inspiration. Yeah, no one realizes how much mothers go through, you know. It's it's totally. it's a very hard job to be a mother. I love my mother very much. She's a big, big inspiration to me too. You know, women are survivors. My mom yeah. is the epitome of that. So yeah. I agree with that. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Well, what, have you, what have you been doing during quarantine? I want to hear your, your, your quarantine stories. Um, my quarantine, so I have, I, I finally watched all of the Harry Potter movies. Which <laughs> like I it, in a row? Before quarantine. In a row? In a, well, not in a row, but over okay. the course of the last few weeks. Okay, and that's good. I'm absolutely obsessed, thinking about getting a lightning bolt on my forehead. 
Um, <laughs> I actually have a scar right here, like Wait, in the what? same place. I, I have a Harry Potter scar right there. You can't really see it, but. Oh my God, amazing. That is hysterical. I actually have a scar right here. This That's was from a hairstylist. He had a curling iron to my forehead and he touched it while I was warming up and then he blamed it on me. And I was like, that was not my problem. You have the curling iron, sir. You're the one holding the thing that's burning me, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I know, it was insane. But is there anything you've been doing? What have you been doing to pass the time? Oh, playing so many games, man. Feeling like a kid again. A lot of writing, a lot of writing, a lot of reflecting. I, I've been lucky enough to manage to get my hands on a lot of instruments. So I've just been playing a lot, which has been such a oh, gift because awesome. I, I never get to do music that much. Um, yeah, I mean, meditating every day, yoga. Yoga has been really saving my ass right now at the moment. It's really awesome. important. Yeah, I, I actually I, I've been, been doing a little bit too. What kind do you like to do? Because I'm, I'm down to learn about anything. Oh, well, so for me, I, I started doing uh, well, yoga meditation when I was about 19, but that saved my life, honestly. It oh, really, good. really did. It's, it, I don't do the kind of normal Western form of yoga it's more um it's more to do with like the eastern philosophy of it and it's about the breath work it's not about the exercise it's more about the connection